man, y'all kids, it's garbage. Straight out. Straight up like that. When teens outnumber the cops, this is y'all kids. What building do you live in? Officers respond to a call of a fight between about 20 teens. Some of these teens are known to have an extensive criminal history. So I'm gonna tell you, this ain't a, oh, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna get. Of course they got criminal history. I'm not surprised. Come on, what you doing that for? Well, I'm, because it's called loitering and prowling and you're obstructing. Come on now, what you doing that for? I just can't, I just can't. See now, watch this young man. He coming at the cops mad crazy. If you guys could see in the left hand side of the screen, here comes this young man, this young boy, this young girl. Because he acting like a crazy lunatic. Watch this. Bro, don't ever run up on the cops like that, bro. Don't ever run up on the cops like that. Train your children to actually do better. Who are you? I'm his cousin. You're his cousin? I'm his cousin. I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. I just got over here. I just got over here. You can take me. You can take me. You can take me. Come on. Hey, no, come on. And you see that big girl come over and push the cops. She pushed the cops, my guy. And y'all always acting like the cops is wrong. Watch this. You can take me. All right. So the office is there. He's patting down the kid. You can take me. You can take me. Look. Look at what she's doing. Cursing. They jump in between the cops. This is your this is your children. This is your children. But again, the cops are wrong, right? The cops are the bad guys. Look at this nonsense. Resisting arrest. And these girls are all up in the mix. Step away. Step away. For what? I ain't doing shit. Let's keep it. I'm carrying my love. Get the out of me, bro. We got nothing to do. We just came over here. Get my sister off the ground before I F you up. Really, bro? You about skinny as a mug. Your sister bigger than all outdoors. And you think you're going to bust a move. But this is y'all children. These are your kids out here. Buck Wallen, baby kids. Ridiculous. But these kids ain't bad. These kids ain't got behavior problems. These kids ain't emotional. Is that what you're telling me? Come on, man. These guys need to be in ROTC tomorrow. Reckless. Go on, go. Let me go. I ain't got no weapon, man. Let me go. Emotional. Emotional. Let me go. Like somebody's scared of you. Nobody's scared of you, man. Where do you live at? Oh, I'm out here. Get out of here now. Where do you live at? You work here. All right, kick rocks. Where do you live at? All right, kick rocks. That one. Which one? Right here? Hey, okay, okay. I'll get down. I'll get down. Call my mama. Call my mama. Call my mama. Call my mama. You will thug one minute, but the next minute, call my mama. Call my mama. Call my mama. Call my mama. Mama, mama, please. Mama, please. But you a gangster. But you thugging it out. All y'all want y'all mamas. Y'all some clowns, bro. I swear y'all some son husbands. Some mama's boys and mama girl. Call my mama. Mama, mama. Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Then leave. Where do you live? Put your hands on your pants. Put your hands on your pants. Where do you live at? Where do you live at? Huh? Where do you live at? Why you in my face, cousin? All right, cool. Where do you live at? Now, here go y'all reckless citizens. Y'all reckless citizens say, oh, it's nothing wrong. Where he's trying to assess the situation. All these people had a call to say a lot of them were involved in the fight. The cops don't know who's who. But if you don't live there, you have to leave. So the cop is asking, 
Do you live here? Get out my effing face. Do you live here? He's trying to do his job. But your children don't know how to just respect the cops. You guys think you all lawyers on the streets versus just being lawyers in the actual courtroom. Or just being the actual law-abiding citizen and providing information which is not going to get you locked up in Guantanamo Bay. But you'd rather be like this. Okay, get dealt with. If you don't live here, leave. So now none of these kids did nothing. The cops are just evil. Okay. Black Lives Matter crybabies. Come get my phone. Calm down. Come in and call my sister. So now they put everybody in the cop car. Now this is actually the property manager, this black female right here that's walking up to the cops. She's attempting to get everything cleared. She's attempting to get everything in order. Because one thing that she doesn't appreciate is these kids acting crazy and causing ruckus and disturbing the peace inside the community. This is the way this works. If you do not live on this premises, then you are loitering a prowler, which means you are required to identify yourself to me. If you do live here, and I ask you your name and where you live, and you can't provide it, now you're required to quell my suspicions that you're not loitering a prowler, which is why you're in handcuffs in the back of my car. Now, what's your name? Cameron? I don't want you to be in handcuffs, See. but I'm going to take See, but now he's complying. You could have complied from the beginning instead of being a fake tough guy. You could have complied from the beginning instead of being a fake Black Lives Matter activist on the city. I would much rather call your mom to come pick you up. Hey, yo, hold up. Chill out. First of all, we're going to start this whole thing. See, now the mom comes in just acting as crazy as her children. But no surprise, right? Your kids got it from somewhere. Thing over. How y'all doing? Good. I'm How her mother. Why is my daughter in handcuffs? Your daughter is in handcuffs because she was fighting and then thought it was a good idea for her to try to swing on the police. I don't have any. So as of right now, your daughter is about to go to the juvenile detention center. You can ask him questions. Okay, okay. also, what, where's my son? Who's your son? He in the car. He in the car. They tried to tell him, no, this is what happened. She was not fighting. They, they was jumping a boy, and then Rashad had jumped in. And I guess they tried to arrest him, too. So that's when he was right. All right, we're, we're going to stop all this. So this is the way this works. Uh, that's your daughter? That's my daughter and that's okay. my son. Your daughter is under arrest. She uh, hit two officers. Um, what did the officers do to my baby? They tried to attack Now, what the officers do to her baby? What did the officers do to her kid? Not what she did. Obviously, she swung on the officers. Now they did something to her. And they were arresting her brother because he ran up on the cops. You can't run up on the cops, guys. I don't know where you were trained. Probably nowhere good. Obviously, your mother's just as crazy with the gold bonnet in the head looking a hot mess. But net, net, look at that. Excuses. Now, let me know. Does this look like a responsible adult to you? Does that look like a responsible adult to you? It does not to me. And I'm judging. They try to tackle Rashad, and that's when she jumped hey, on hey, him. Hey, hey, all right, all right, all right. Do we have a Rashad in custody? Her brother. He's the first one to talk about. There's no charges on him? No charges. All right, so, ma'am, excuse me. So right now, your son Rashad, I believe he's... And they were nice. They decided not to charge their son. So they are like, hey, we're going to let your son go. Teach him some manners. They didn't say that. I said that. Because <laughs> she would have went buck wild. Look at her. Okay. Apparently there was a large fight out here. We don't know why yet. As this large fight broke out, officers arrived on scene here. We tried to gain gang control. Your son shot, charged one of the officers. He didn't get hit. He didn't hit anybody or anything like that. So he was detained. When that happened, I guess his sister came up. And that's when she struck two officers. That's why she is now detained and getting placed under arrest. Okay. So out of this whole fight, my daughter the only person going to jail? As of right now, yeah. Now she worried about other people going to jail. Somebody else got to go to jail. Out of this whole fight. Well, your daughter's the one who hit the officers, and the officers arrived late. They didn't get to see the fight. They just came to figure out what was going on. They got called. How about we not come to your community? How about we let you hooligans just go ahead and fight and act crazy? We can do that. 
I'm telling you, cops, just do that for now. Don't go. Don't go to these places. Let, let them figure out whatever they want to figure out. Let them fight on the streets all day and night. I would never be a cop, bro. Mom! I want to speak to my mother. Mom! Stop! Ah, I know you won't now! What you keep hollering for me for? You don't think I can hear you? Do you not understand that I'm already pissed off? Because you told me that you were standing after school. So how the hell your ass in the pissed off? He called me and said, and I don't give a f when nobody called you and say, and you supposed to be your ass at my house. So how you get crossed out to the medical guards? Because they called you. I don't give a Why is my daughter going to jail? Because you're doing some extra. No, ma'am. They were trying to jump more, and I jumped in. Can I just start you? You got anything on you? No, Tell me. A, a, light a lighter? Where? Don't reach for it. 514. So this person got weed on him. Is there any on you? I'm going to check the back of the patrol car. I'm going to find it if it's there, okay? You might as well just tell us. In your sock? sock? In the sock, they got weed. Young person got weed. Find weed all up in their shoe. Rookie. Sucker. This the joint? This is the joint. She had weed on her. No charges, right? No charges. Mom's right there. She comes over. Um, no charges. Mom's on the way. Once she gets here, we'll release. Got it? She got a joint in her sock. She does? Now, watch this. We got the property manager about to say her piece. Tell me what exactly went on. So, our officers responded to a, uh, a fight that just occurred here. Mm -hmm. There's apparently 20 individuals. Mm -hmm. That was just a large fight. Yeah. When they arrived on scene, a lot of people scattered. Yeah. Um, a couple of people uh, came running up and a couple people ended up being detained because okay. they were trying to fight themselves. So, I'm the new senior manager here. Okay. I'm not going to tolerate it. So, if you are tied into this, and you live on my property, you're going to get a notice to pay okay. I already done got it from okay. my ADO. Have you met Linda? This is the property manager. Good, good. Um, I'm going to get with her. Okay. Uh, you hurt anymore, bud? And she ain't playing. Property manager says, hey, look, if your kid's out here acting reckless, then you're going to have to vacate the whole property. Right? Your kid can't be out here fighting in the streets, and you think you can stay in this community. You can get, you can, you, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get up out of here. Facts. I, ain't, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Get these baby kids up out of here. Let them go somewhere else. Let them go to the outskirts. Let them go to District 9. You okay? Yes, sir. on my head. My head is hurting. I fell Stop dead crying. on my body. Do you want to go with EMS? Do you want him to go with EMS? No, he's fine. Where y'all taking her to? Juvenile? We're, we're calling right now, so we'll let you know if somebody's ready. All right. Okay, I'm not and then he's going to curse at the officer. Here comes some other buck wild mothers, right? They don't have no home training. They're just about crazy. Mother. Her? My son, y'all just called me. Other vehicle. Oh, Jesus. Everybody, oh, what's going on? Who you yelling at? Who you yelling at? You yelling at the cops. This is what I'm saying, bro. Don't be an officer. The community's whack. And y'all call this a community? Yo, my black community. That's a community? That's the worst community. That's a ridiculous community. And parents are all out of pocket, especially mothers. Always giving these baby kids an excuse. Claiming he wasn't out here fighting. He got put in handcuffs because he was out here fighting at some point in time with somebody. So he's not getting charged today, but since he's a juvenile, you got to release him to your custody. Okay. So what happened? Big fight ensued and we showed up. Who well, was he fighting? Uh, uh, nobody to me. Uh, uh, hey, face the vehicle for me. Turn over, CJ. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The only the point that I'm trying to make. The, we have to take photos. Hey. The point that I'm trying to get him to understand is regardless if he gets into stuff or not, who he hang out with. He don't need nobody. to hang out with nobody. He don't hang out with nobody, but he was there with a bunch of people. He don't hang out with nobody, but don't even talk to these women. Let them go to lose the town. So now the, now the black cop is racist. Yeah, your child is. I said your child is. Not every, but your child in, in a good amount of them. Yeah. So you believe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we put you in a handcuff because he was walking. And then watch this lady. He says, so you believe your child over the police? They say. Your child over the police. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So she believed her child over the police. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. You a loser anyways. I don't even know why you sweating. Your child's a 10-bit loser. <laughs> don't hurt us, none. <laughs> and he's, he's going to get rested again. 
all the kids that was actually fighting, y'all just detained the kids that wasn't. So this is the way it worked. I wrote up everybody's. We detained your kid because she fought the cops. We detained your kid because he ran up on the cops. We wasn't here for the fight. Were we going to lock people up and we wasn't here for it? Unlike what you believe, we can't just lock people up like that. But we definitely can lock up your baby kids who run up on the cop. That's simple. But hey, look, lie to yourselves. Okay, so I don't know who is fighting, but if they don't live here, it's called murder and travel. What's your name and Officer Johnson, six oh, okay, I don't have a card. Y'all gonna just go put him in handcuffs. And y'all ain't got a reason, so I don't. He wasn't fighting. He, he wasn't fighting. Fight. 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 He wasn't fighting. He wasn't fighting. She got him on the video camera. Coming to the house and coming from school. Uh-huh. Y'all talk. Y'all better go to the ones that y'all need to go to. You need to brush your teeth. Stop that. Stop it. Look, one mother who got common sense. One mother who talks to the cops with some level of decorum and professionalism and diplomacy. Just one, one out of all of them. Most Americans think like, yo, you know, I got the freedom of speech, I can talk my snap. Y'all just need to get slapped, straight up. I think y'all just need to get slapped. If I was president, I'd just sign legislation. If, if citizens talk to you sideways, slap them. Cause that's what happened in the real world. So y'all just need to get slapped. I'm tired of y'all freaking just leaning on freedom of speech all the time. Like, you talk to me crazy, yeah, you got freedom of speech, and I got the freedom to slap you. Straight up. <laughs> you ain't coming home until your mom says so. Send them right back in there for me, please. Send them back in there. What's, what, can anybody tell me what's going on? We got a so the kid just was talking out of pocket. He wouldn't be quiet. So the mom said, hey, can y'all put him back in the car? Put him back in the cop car. Let this rug rat go to jail. All that there were about 20 children up here fighting. So when I showed up, everybody oh, scattered, you. and he refused to identify himself, refused to give me a name. Right there. So that point of the construction, he went to handcuffs to be detained. That's why he didn't see me. Right. We're not going to pursue those charges. We're going to release them to you. What are the charges? Loading and prowling and obstruction. And obstruction. But you know so the mom said, look, those are the charges. Okay, bet. She didn't say, no, I believe my child. He wasn't doing it, and he was here, but he wasn't here. He never hang out with nobody, but he was hanging out with somebody. No excuses. She said, okay. All right. What your charges are? Listen, if I ask you like, one more question, you shake your head at me. And if you ask me with attitude, they can go ahead and take you because I'm getting sick of this. Why didn't you tell this man where you live at? This man ain't lying on you. I know your attitude. You this man so she was just like, this man ain't lying on you. <laughs> Facts. But, the, but if you think this offer don't want to be chilling? But he just drove in his car. He came to lie on you while he has a body cam on. Come on, bro. You should not have came down here. It is a phone in the schoolhouse that you can use. There's several phones there. Somebody is coming to get you. You know that. And then you got an attitude. Thank you. Ma'am, thank you. So the kid Lee said thank you because his mom had him in chat. Ring a thing. On my phone, Okay, camera, what's wrong with you? Look, he rest you because she's like, he, she. Okay. But she said, he arrested me because I didn't want to answer those questions. You had weed on you also. What you got weed on you? You ate, you, you a teenager. Got that, got that stank on you. Got that Ob o o Obama weed. That, o that Bin Laden weed. Who got that high drove? Camera, you are in somebody else's property. That don't work like that. I talked to her dad. Mm. The paperwork will be sent um, to that address that they live at over in Iowa. Mm -hmm. All right, so just wait for the court date. So I called the jail to see if they're going to take her, but the jail wasn't going to. That's literally the only reason she's not going over. Gamora was charged with felony obstruction, loitering and prowling, and two counts of battery. Gamora was charged with possession of marijuana, obstruction, and loitering and prowling. The others were released to the care and custody of their parents. One parent made it clear that the blame for the entire situation was the fault of the police, who responded to numerous 911 calls related to a large fight. They are innocent until proven guilty in a court. Of yeah, they're innocent until proven guilty. All right, let's give them that. Until they're actually convicted in a court of law. And then as the parents said... The cops is at fault for answering the call. Cops, man, blue lives matter. I couldn't do what y'all guys did, man. I wouldn't just show up, man. I let these people rule their own community, right? Like, being a cop is not easy. Blue lives matter. Yeah, y'all mad, y'all angry, 
I don't care. <laughs> y'all brokies. <laughs> get y'all children, get your baby kids, and get it right. I'll see you guys on the next one, but this was ridiculous. Say what you want in the comment section. I want to hear what you normies think about it. Probably nothing good. Y'all probably give excuses. A couple of people in the chat was giving excuses on this video. It was ridiculous. The cop picked up the wrong people. He picked that guy up like a furniture. Yeah, he did. I would have picked him up like furniture too. So net net. It's easier to be a military soldier than be a goddamn copper. I couldn't put up with it. Much respects. Blue Lives Matter. I'll catch you guys on the next one.